Welcome to the Wine Down with Miss Amarachi. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back with a new wine to review. So let's get into it. Today, I will be winding down with Quinto Quarto's Venezia Guglia Turpin Bianco Civi 2020 White Wine. I had to read that from the bottle because if not, I'd have butchered that. But of course, before we get into the wine, let's get into our jar of self-discovery. Y'all, I haven't I haven't opened up this jar in a minute, so let's see what, what the jar is finna ask me today. All right. I don't know if I answered this question yet. Did I answer this question? Well, if I did, oh well, I'm going to answer it again. The question is, how do I define success? How do I define success? Why is success important to me? That's a good question. Um, so again, I don't know if I answered it already, but I'm going to answer it again. But I guess a different answer. Um, so I define success as waking up every morning and accomplishing all the goals that you set out for yourself that day. Um, and the reason why I say that is because, you know, a lot of times people will equate success to monetary gains, to familial gains, to, you know, um, to um, tangible items. But for me, like, I feel like I, I feel successful and find success every day when I have a list of tasks that I know I want or need to complete for the day and I complete them by the end of the day. Um, so that's, I mean, that's. To me, that's that's the most that's success for me, um, and success is important to me specifically in the context of my previous answer because, you know, a lot of times we'll have things that we know we need to get done or we want to get done, and 500 other things will come up during the day, but it's important for me to achieve all the things that I set out to accomplish at the beginning of the day because there's a reason why I got those tasks at the beginning of the day and not during the day. And if I complete everything, including the tasks that I got during the day, that's even better. It's even more successful. But to know that I, I set out to accomplish a goal and I completed it, that in the time period that I set the goal for is an amazing feeling. So that's my answer for this question. And now let's get into the wine. Standing at 13% alcohol by volume, this wine is spontaneously fermented for about a week and then is aged for eight months in stainless steel. This wine shows some cloudiness, but the color is vivid and alive. Phenolic sweetness and brightness is how this wine is described. Now, let's get into it. So, once again, I'm a little bit nervous about this bottle because uh, this was a gift from somebody and also, I don't really know much about this wine. Like, as I said in my in the description, there wasn't really much on the internet about this wine. So, this is really a toss-up. Uh, this is a white wine. So, this is the first, I think the first white wine that I'm trying on um, my show. But, um, nevertheless, we're going to get into it. And also, as I was taking my little break, you know, I was making some decisions on things I wanted to kind of change up because this is the 20th episode, which is crazy. Uh-oh, I think the cork broke. Uh, this is the 20th episode of, you know, the Wine Down with Miss Amarachi. The cork did break. I'll fix that. But as I talk, um, or I'll fix that as I talk. This is the 20th episode of my uh, wine reviews. And, of course, I want to continue to, you know, elevate um, in my reviews. So first and foremost, I'm probably going to start doing uh, or dropping wines every other week instead of every week just to keep, you know, just to keep people on their toes and to just continue to find new wines uh, to try out. And then on top of that, um, you know, I'm going to just try to add a little bit more components uh, to it. So, you know, smelling the cork and letting the wine air out a little bit. Um, so, Hope you all are excited for the continuation of the wind down, and I'm excited. I'm excited for my journey. Now, um, this wine again, the cork broke, so hopefully, not too many pieces fell out. But um, it's all good. Things happen, and you all are seeing this in real time. <laughs> Let's put that to the side. Uh, let me smell this part of the cork. So, upon smelling. 
it smells um dry. It smells like a white wine. I can't really get the notes, but it does smell a little bitter. So this is probably not a dessert wine. Okay. Well, let's get into it. Okay, it's very, it's it's a, it's darker. It's on the darker side for the white wines. I don't know why I poured so much. Like, I'm going to drink all of this. Anyway, cheers. I went to a wine, uh, a wine, um, tour, and they told us that you first, you air out the wine. You look to see the lines, which I don't really see really many lines. I forget what that means. Um, smell it. Oh, wow. I've never tasted anything like this before. Okay, so it's not terrible. It's kind of sour. It tastes sour. Um, it's not bitter. It's not as bitter as I thought it was going to be. It's not nasty. It's, it's, it's not... Again, my favorite wine, but I would drink this. I, I, I could see myself taking a glass of this. Um, let, me, let me try it again. Okay. It's very sour. It, it, it borders like a... It, it doesn't it doesn't taste spoiled, but it, it, it one could drink this and might think it's spoiled, but it's just on the sour, more sour side. Uh, which makes sense because they let it sit for eight months. Um, it is it is good. I like it. It's very good. I would I would probably eat this with um, maybe salmon. Um, it's not it's not dry enough for a dark meat, um, but I would definitely do that with like seafood, salmon. I would drink a glass of that. Um, well, I would finish that bottle. Not right now, but I would if I needed like something to drink. I would definitely try that. I, I, I would definitely finish that up um, or finish that um, or, or gra grab a glass of that. Excuse me. Um, I don't, I wouldn't buy another one probably, but I wouldn't mind drinking that. So that was, that was a good, a present supply, surprise. Again, I didn't purchase this, but when I looked online, it did retail for a lot of money between 30 to $37, which is a lot of money for a wine. Um, which is a lot of money for alcohol in general. Um, so, I mean, if you want to try it, like, maybe. But I wouldn't run to the store and buy this. This is not like, a, oh my gosh, 10 out of 10, I would spend $37 on this. If they said it was 20 I would probably be like, yeah, y'all go get it. But to pay 30 to 37 it's like, y'all can probably do without this bottle. Um, but in terms of rating, I would probably give this a 7 out of 10. Again, it wasn't terrible. It was it was, it was was on the better side. It's probably one of the better wines that I've tried, or, or definitely is one of the better wines that I've tried. But I'm not running to go finish this glass. Um, so, again, 7 out of 10, 30 to $37. Um, you can buy it from probably any wine store. I pretty much buy all my wines from the same wine stores, BevMo, Total Wine. So whatever your local wine store is, you can pick it up if you got liquor or wine at the Target. Honestly, this is not a wine that I feel like you would, you could pick up from like a um, a Walmart or Target if, you're, if your state sells alcohol in the like regular stores. You probably have to go to a specialty wine place to get this because again this is like a 2020 from Italy like the the packaging is very sophisticated. I don't think this is like a shutter home that you could just pick up on the go. Um, so definitely look into look into this company. But as always, thank you so much for joining me on this week's episode of The Wine Down with Ms. Amarachi. If there are any brands or companies that are interested in sending out wine for review, definitely email me um, at the email below if there is any wines or if there are any wines that you are interested in me trying definitely comment them down below thank you so much and join me in two weeks as we wind down